Hi everyone, my name is Leanne and today I'm bringing you a currently reading video. I try and do currently reading videos roughly around halfway through the month just to update on you on what I've been reading and as per what has become tradition on this channel I try and do these videos in one take which is something that really doesn't come naturally to me but I think I'm getting better at it. So I am currently reading three books or well I'm listening to one and reading two um, and I am reading or listening <laughs> um, to two fiction books and one non-fiction book. Um, it hasn't, I didn't plan it this way, but it's ended up being a really interesting reading experience, reading all of these books at the same time. Um, I think it's really great when something like that is kind of like a happy accident with your reading. Um, but the first book that I'm going to talk to you guys about is the non-fiction book, and that is Three Women by Lisa Tadeo. I felt like I was the only person who hadn't read this book yet. It feels like most people read this book towards the tail end of last year um, and it's one I've been really intrigued by. Um, I do think you need to be in the right headspace to read it because it's more often than not dealing with very harrowing topics. The author of this book um, followed and learned and spoke with three different women over the course of eight years and spent thousands of hours learning about their lives and their experiences, their relationships with themselves, their desires, their bodies, the very difficult relationships that they've been in, the harrowing experiences that they've been through. Um, I think this is a book that a lot of women will connect with for those reasons um, and I think it's a book that a lot of men would benefit from reading because I don't think, I don't think anyone necessarily fully understands how commonplace really harrowing um, violent experiences are for women everywhere. Not to say those experiences aren't dealt with by men, um, but I think every woman has experienced something along the lines of the very difficult topics dealt with in this book. So yeah, you do need to be in like a decent headspace to read this. Um, I'm about 100 pages in, I read 100 pages this morning. It's a 300 page book, so I think I'm gonna try and read like 50 to 100 pages of it um, later today as well. Um, it's not one that I have had a sort of profound connection with yet, um, but I definitely get the sense that it's a book that is building somewhere, that it's like it's gonna reach a sort of crescendo. Um, and enjoying is probably the wrong word, but I'm definitely getting a lot out of reading this book. So then, the fiction that I am reading. Um, I am reading Love is for Losers by Wibke Brueggemann. This is a YA book. This is a proof that I pinched from work. Um, and it is a really brilliant YA book about um, female, female romance. Um, it follows our main character as she goes and lives with, like, I think she's a family friend, um, while her mother, who is a war doctor, um, is in Syria. And it basically just follows this young girl's life, I think she's about 15, um, as she struggles to work in a charity shop um, and deal with customers and like social interaction, which I think is something that a lot of teenagers would connect with. Um, it follows her obsessing over someone's Instagram account um, because she's got a crush on her. Um, and it's told in like this really, really consumable way. So I'm on page 200 of The Proof is nearly 500 pages but it's so readable because like a lot of the dialogue is laid out like a script like it's laid out just like like on a play script chapters are really really short so it's so easy to like sit down and fly through 100 pages of this um which i think is a bit of a contrast to this one um because while i read 100 pages of it this morning it's something that like you have to really take your time reading it with, but um, I think this one is a, you can definitely fly through it a lot quicker. Um, I think it's a book that a lot of teenagers would really connect with and I'm really intrigued to see where um, this LGBT plus romance goes. The final book that I am listening to is Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. Um, this book won the Man Booker Prize and it's just received so much praise and hype, which I think is thoroughly deserved. It's about 11 hours long, the audiobook, and I think I've got three hours left. Um, so hopefully I'll finish that either today if I go out and like get to listen to something while I'm out, 
or at the very least, I think I'll finish it tomorrow. Um, this is a book that follows multiple sets of three stories, um, multiple sets of three women. Um, so we have a mother and a daughter and someone else who is connected to their lives in some way. Um, these stories are spread over the globe of women who have had lots of different kinds of life experiences. Um, and it's, it's so fascinating to get a glimpse into these women's lives. And I think that's what I mean why it's interesting reading these books together, because I think I'm getting a real experience of learning about women and learning about other women and women who have had different life experiences to me. Um, and it's just so, beautifully written I like there are so many moments where I, I want to pause the audiobook and just like take in what she is saying um one of the sections that has stayed with me the most is a section that was about a teacher and the, the struggles she faced as being both a woman of color and a teacher how she felt like um she really had to prove herself and be better um because she was like basically representing black female teachers everywhere. Um, it, I think it's just amazingly written. But for that reason, I would kind of not recommend listening to the audiobook just because, one, because there are so many different voices in it. It's It takes took me a while to like notice when we've changed voices. Um, and also because it is so beautiful, there have been bits that I've kind of wanted to like mark up and underline, but I haven't been able to. Um, but it's a fantastic, fantastic book. I think um, it's one that so many people would benefit from reading. I think it deserves all of the praise that it's had. And yeah, just really highly recommend it. So they're all the books that I'm reading um, at the moment. Um, do leave me a comment down below if you've read any of these books and let me know what you thought of them. Um, I I'm like really struggle to do these in one take and I don't know like if you can tell like I feel like I sometimes build towards the end of a sentence and I feel like I'm about to pause and I'm like oh wait no you're not supposed to pause because you're meant to be filming this in one take um but I am getting better at it I think um so yeah as I said if you have any thoughts on any of the books I've mentioned do leave me a comment down below and I will talk to you guys in my next video